This video shows how to update the hardware configuration after a module has been changed out on the physical rack. This two-channel analog input module with order number 331-7KB02-0AB0 is being replaced with an 8-channel analog input module with order number 331-7KF02-0AB0. To begin, select your station and double click hardware double click the analog module to open its properties if the existing module's name is different than the default be sure to record the name select the address tab record the existing modules address select the input tab record these settings before replacing the module drop down schematic 300 drop down signal module 300 Drop down AI 300. Begin searching an analog input 8 section for the order number 331-7KF02-0AB0. After highlighting a module, check the order number in the lower right of the window until you find the one you are searching for. Here is the module we are looking for. First, try to drag the new module on top of the existing module. This will copy the existing module settings to the new module. If the module cannot be swapped, a circle with a line through it will show. In this case, you will have to delete the existing module and use your recorded data to parameterize the new module. Double click to open the new analog module properties. You can rename the module on the general tab. Select the address tab. The address is the same as before, so click the input tab. The first two channels 0 and 1 have the copied settings from the existing two channel analog module. You will need to set the parameters for the remaining six channels of the analog input. You can find more details in the video given in the i button. Once you have set the parameters, click OK. Save and compile the hardware configuration. Since the module is also swapped in the hardware, we will download the hardware configuration to the PLC. Some analog modules such as the 8 channel input module have to be physically configured by placing jumper chips on the side modules. You can see the demonstration of this by watching the video setting the measuring ranges of an analog module. This concludes the video on how to change the hardware configuration after a module has been changed in the rack. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.